بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم فاطمہ اسلیم اینڈ ٹوڈیز مائی لیکچر از کیمیکل سنتھسز آف اولیگو نکلوٹائڈس کی کنسیپٹس ان دا اولیگو نکلوٹائڈ سنتھسز وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اباؤٹ دا اولیگو نکلوٹائڈ سنتھسز اپلیکیشنز آف اولیگو نکلوٹائڈس سمری آف سالڈ فیز اولیگو نکلوٹائڈ سنتھسز سائیکل فرسٹ آف آل وی ول ڈسکس دیٹ وٹ وائی اولیگو نکلوٹائڈ سنتھسز is important and how chemically we synthesize them so oligonucleotide synthesis is the chemical synthesis of relatively short fragments of nucleic acid with uh, defined chemical structure sequence the technique is extremely useful in current laboratory practice because it provide a rapid and inexpensive access to the custom made oligonucleotides of the desired sequence so we can um, create our desired sequence with the help of uh, a different synthesis method uh, rather than the original dna and rna whereas enzymes synthesize dna and rna only in a 5 prime to 3 prime direction chemical oligonucleotides synthesized does not uh, synthesis does not have this limitation we can um, synthesize them from 3.5 point to 5 uh, prime direction um, in op- opposite to the uh, dna and rna we all uh, enzyme syn- enzymatic uh, synthesis synthesis of dna and rna oligonucleotide uh, synthesis is very important because it find a variety of applications in molecular biology and medicines they are most commonly used as antisense oligonucleotide small interfering rna primer for dna sequencing and amplification props for detecting complementary dna or rna via molecular hybridization and tools for the targeted introduction of mutations and restriction sites and for the synthesis of artificial genes so uh, here is the summary of solid phase oligonucleotide synthesis cycle so all these steps are included in the uh, synthesis of oligonucleotides via solid phase <coughs> synthesis in step 1 there is a tetrityltylation the 5 prime dmt dmt is a protecting group which removed from the first solid support link nucleoside in second step coupling the free 5 prime oh of the first solid support link nucleoside attack the phosphorus of the incoming sol- uh, second nucleoti- nucleoside displacing its the di-, di-, di isopropyl amino group in step 3 oxidation the unstable phosphide triester is converted to a a uh, stable phosphate triester which allows the next cycle to proceed to step 1 de- which is detrithylation of the second nucleotide so however prior to the moving to the next cycle in step 4 there is a uh, there is a step which is called capping solid spore link nucleoside with unreacted 5 prime oh are acetyled and thereby preventing uh, elongation of sequence with deletion mutations 
capping is performed after oxidation to drive all water out which would otherwise inhibit the next cycle of the reaction so this is all about the summary of solid phase oligonucleotide synthesis okay <clears throat> in the first step detrialization uh, the 5 prime dmt protecting group is removed from the first solid spot linked nucleoside here you can see that the um, dmt group uh, is removed in first step and uh, free the 5 prime um, carbon and a hydroxyl is attached uh, instead of dmt group so you can see in the first step next is coupling the free 5 prime OH of the first solid spot linked nucleoside attack the phosphorus of the incoming second nucleoside displacing its diisopropyl uh, diisopropyl amino group so it contain a diisopropyl amino group and it is replaced uh, it is replaced uh, by the nucleotide so this step is called basically coupling we, we can see that in a second step there is a uh, two nucleotides are attached with the diester bonds uh, between the phosphorus uh, and oxygen so we can see that next is the oxidation step the unstable phosphide triester is converted to a stable phosphate triester which allow the next cycle to proceed to step one so here we can see that the unstable uh, tri is the, uh, triester bond uh, uh, is converted to phosphate triester bond <coughs> in oxidation process uh, so it, this product will go for the further addition and the cycle will repeat it again for uh, another ad addition of another nucleotide in the chain uh, again a uh, cycle will start the detrialization of the second um, nucleotide uh, but sometimes uh, before moving to the next cycle in a step 4 capping which is called capping uh, solid spot linked nucleoside with unreacted 5 uh, prime OH are acetyled so there is a process called capping uh, here we put a uh, acetyl group on a unreacted 5 prime hydroxyl group so it cannot react or can create problem for the um, further reaction Cap capping is performed after oxidation to drive all water out which would otherwise inhibit the next cycle of the reaction so we are going to discuss all these four steps individually in next slides this section explore uh, the detailed chemistry of each of the four steps in the phosphoramidite um, method step one is detrialization step two is coupling then step three is capping and step four is oxidation so it is basically a not it is uh, step four is oxy uh, capping and step three is oxidation i guess next uh, we start with the step one the cycle is initiated by removal of five prime dmt what is dmt dmt is four four dimethoxy tri tile protecting group of the solid spot linked nucleoside so it is basically the protecting group for the um, nucleosides contain the terminal three base of the oligonucleotide the 5 prime and dmt prevents polymerization of the nucleosides during functional functionalization of the solid spot resins so it is uh, it protect the uh, from polymerization it protect the nucleoside from the polymerization 
let's start with the reaction the dmt group is removed by tc tca what is tca trichloroacetic acid uh, which is present in a uh, presence of a solvent called dichloromethane the you can see that how reaction is going on here and um, the product includes free 5 prime oh nucleoside and a carbocation of dmt here in reaction the resonance structure of carbocation does not shown and that's all Mm, this is the detail about previous uh, reaction the 5 prime MD, uh, DMT protecting group is removed by TCA trichloroacetic acid in the solvent dichloromethane two concentrated solution of TCA trichloroacetic acid uh, can be lead to depurination and hence lower the overall yield of the final oligonucleotides so if the solution of TCA is uh, more concentrated or a uh, long of detrialation uh, time leads uh, if it took longer time then the overall yield of the final oligonucleotides will be lower so the product includes three terminal nucleoside with the free 5 OH and DMT uh, carbocations. And the uh, product uh, and the pro, um, the nucleosides present in the product is further proceeded to the step two in the synthesis while the DMT uh, carbocation which is removed from the nucleotide absorb at 495 nanometer and thereby pro, uh, produce an orange color that can be used to monitor the coupling efficiency so uh, this could be used to monitor the reaction rate once the uh, dmt has been removed from the uh, nucleotide one the free o uh, free five prime oh of the solid spot linked nucleoside is able to react with the next nucleoside which is added as a phosphor amid uh, amidite monomer again like nucleotide with base one or nucleotide uh, one the second nucleotide also has dmt group attached to the five uh, prime or uh, um, five prime uh, hydroxyl group the diiso uh, diisopropyl amino group of the incoming phosphor amidite uh, is activated or protonated with the help of uh, acidic catalyst ett here you can see on a uh, arrow the structure of ETT which is a 5 ethyl thio 1 hydrogen tetrazole so you can see clearly the catalyst in the reaction and this activated the this uh, activated the um, uh, phosphor uh, amidite uh, and uh, you can see that the product contain dinucleo dinucleoside with triester linkage and a free diisopropyl amino group this is the uh, previous reaction mechanism is explained over here uh, the mixing is uh, the, I the isopropyl amino group of the incoming phosphor amidite monomer in the solvent acetonitrile is activated by the acidic so there is a solvent also, uh, also like a previous step um, uh, there is a solvent uh, as well and which acidic catalyst ETT is also present the mixing is carried out in the fluid lines of the synthesis instrument as the reagent are delivered to the solid spot so the mixing is usually very brief and occur in fluid lines of oligonucleotide synthesizers while the components are being delivered to reactors containing solid spot uh, <coughs> The activated phosphor uh, phosphor amidite is delivered in manifold excess over the solid spot linked nucleosides 
to drive the reaction to as close to completion as possible the pro products include dinucleosides with a phosphide triester linkage and a free di uh, isopropyl amino group next is the step 3 oxidation then the uh, phosphide triester formed during the coupling reaction is unnatural and unstable therefore it must be converted to a more stable phosphorus species prior to the start of the next cycle oxidation converts the phosphide triester to the stable phosphate triester so in uh, here the reaction is shown the oxidation reaction take place in the presence of a pyridine iodine and a water uh, water the product is phosphate triester with the protecting group on oxygen known as cyanoethyl <coughs> so there is a protecting group on a uh, on the Mm, phosphate triester oxidation of phosphate triester is achieved with iodine in the presence of water and pyridine the product is the phosphate triester which is essentially a standard dna backbone with the beta cyano ethyl uh, protecting group on the free oxygen step 4 is capping what is capping uh, because we know that there is always unreacted nucleosides with 5 uh, 5 prime oh are present because 100 percent coupling efficiency is impossible so if these nucleosides are not blocked the hydroxy group may react and cause missing base that is made termed as short mers we can say them by products or impurities so it will be difficult or it will make something else instead of oligonucleotides um, the short merge that are difficult to purify and therefore could render the oligonucleotides useless in the subsequent applications so capping is required to prevent short merge accumulation this is a capping mechanism we have acetic and hydrate uh, hydride and n methyl amidazole react to form an intermediate in the presence of a solvent tetrahydrofuran which also have a small amount of pyridine the product uh, you can see here that the product is a solid spot linked nucleoside with an acetyl acetylated 5 uh, prime hydrox, uh, hydroxyl group so we can see the reaction clear here um, <coughs> and uh, acetic anhydride react with the n-methylamidazole and produce an, an intermediate which is uh, further attack on the oxygen of hydroxyl group and an uh, acetylated 5 prime hydroxy uh, hi, 5 prime um, nucleoside is formed here we are explain all the mechanism uh, capping mechanism acetic anhydride and n methyl uh, methyl amidazole react to form an intermediate in the solvent tetrahydrofuran which contain a small quantity of pyridine why pyridine is required uh, i have answered in uh, in the other lines the product is, is the solid spot linked nucleoside with an acetyl acetylated 5 prime hydroxyl group pyridine maintains a basic ph thereby preventing the detrithylation uh, of the phosphor amidite monomer by the free acetate or acetic acid after successfully adding the two nucleotides the cycle for the addition of another nucleotide begins with the step one which is detrithylation and followed by each of three remaining steps so the number of cycles repeated equals the desired number of
the leafage there are so many reagents that take part in the synthesis of oligonucleotides the solid support linker we have attached to the uh, oxygen uh, at 3 prime carbon of pentose sugar is stable to all reagents that take part in the phosphoramidite synthesis so it is very important to free the 3 prime oh so that more nucleotides could be added to extend the chain such as uh, extension by dna polymerases during pcr when the oligonucleotides serve as a primer so we have to add the nucleotides on the chain to make it longer and that this that for this purpose we need to free the 3 prime oh position next is the cleavage cleavage is very easy the reactant and the product of the cleavage are um, has been written here ester hydrolysis of the linker and simultaneously removal of the solid support so solid support is attached to the oxygen which is uh, also attached to the three prime carbon is carried out by the treatment with concentrated aqueous ammonia the product is the oligonucleotide with a terminal free 3 oh so we can see here that the terminal 3 is uh, free now and uh, solid support linkers which are we have attached uh, attached to the 3 uh, prime carbon is removed right now so this is this process is called cleavage deportation in the whole uh, reaction the bases are also protected so that they cannot react with the, any of the reagents are present in all these four steps so these bases are also protected and um, at the end we need to deprotect them after cleavage the solution of oligonucleotide uh, in concentrated aqueous ammonia is heated to remove protecting group from the bases and phosphates so bases we are going to discuss about the bases and how they are protected and with what group they are protected and with what protecting group they are protected while thymine does not require protecting group so here it is clear that thymine does not require any protecting group adenosine cytosine and guanine need to be protected they contain exocyclic primary amino group so the protecting group must be removed so that proper hydrogen bonds between the oligonucleotides and the target nucleic acid may form yes so we are going to discuss about how these uh, adenosine cytosine uh, adenine cytosine and guanine are protected here is a small chain of three nucleotide we have three bases here guanine cytosine and adenine at first we have adenine then cytosine and then guanine so adenine is um, protected uh, with the help of n6 benzoyl a you can see the benzoyl group over here and uh, the cytosine is uh, protected with the help of n4 benzoyl and the guanine is protected with the help of n2 isobutyl so these are three um, 
space uh, protecting groups is removed and we can see that guanine cytosine and adenine we have in the product with nucleosides so these groups are removed with the help of ammonia concentrated ammonia and heat next the uh, reactant and the product of base uh, deprotection uh, the oligonucleotides in concentrated aqueous ammonia is heated the protecting group include n6 benzoyl uh, adenine n4 benzoyl cytosine and n2 isobutyl um, for guanine the product of the reaction is fully deprotected and a c and g bases are free they are not protected anymore or there is no uh, any protecting group over there in addition to the standard protecting groups these are uh, we have discussed uh, before are the standard protecting groups the liable dimethyl form uh, form amidyl uh, guanine and the ultra mild product protecting groups can also be used for modified oligonucleotides that are sensitive to ammonia if the nucleotides are sensitive to ammonia we can use some other uh, protecting groups that is called ultra uh, ultra mild protecting groups so in next slide we will discuss which uh, groups are ultra mild here we can see that for guanine um, n2 dimethyl uh, form amidyl uh, and n2 isopropyl phenoxyacetal guanine for guanine is, is used and for uh, cytosine it is uh, n2 acetyl and for uh, adenine it is n6 phenoxyacetal Apart from the uh, protecting group we discussed in previous slides some other protecting groups are also present which need mild conditions or to be removed more easily more liable than the protecting group discussed previously these includes uh, n6 phenoxyacetal for adenine n2 acetyl for uh, cytosine and n2 isopropyl phenoxyacetal for guanine they are typically removed at room temperature in concentrated aqueous ammonia and methylamine solution. So uh, there is another protecting group for guanine which is called dimethyl form amidyl which need to remove in concentrated aqueous ammonia but relatively, uh, but relatively require less time for removal than the isobutyl group so the structures of these uh, protecting group is given in the previous slide you can see from there next is uh, we also have a protecting group on uh, phospho uh, phosphodiester so here we will uh, discuss about it how to remove or how to make it free the beta cyanoethyl group on the free oxygen of the phosphate must be removed to convert it from a phosphate triester to a phosphate diester phosphodiester so here we can see that the reaction let's discuss it in detail the cyanoethyl group are removed in concentrated aqueous ammonia via beta elimination and we all know that beta elimination is a chemical reaction in which atom or group of atom lost from adjacent atoms resulting in a new pi bonds one atom that is lost is usually a proton and the pi bond is formed between two adjacent carbons so the reaction is quick because the hydrogen atom on the carbon adjacent to the electron withdrawing cyano group are highly acidic and the product may have uh, product have the oxygen is free now and in the product uh, of a look uh, oligonucleotide oxygen is free now and have a negative charge and uh, acrylonitrile is formed as a byproduct 
yield the yield of the synthesis is heavily dependent on the coupling efficiency even with 99.5 percent efficiency which we are readily achieve uh, as the oligonucleotide length increase the yield is rapidly decreased so with the increase in the length of the nucleotide it, uh, the yield is also lower down this is all about the oligo nucleotide synthesis students need to search about the history of a chemical synthesis and how oligonucleotide had changed the world i didn't mention any history regarding to this because the um, lecture will be so longer if i put this so this point is also a very important and student need to search about the history of the chemical synthesis of nucleotides